Good afternoon, Tom. How are you? For those of you who don't know, we have four rules for these videos. The first rule is that they have to be under three minutes in length. The second rule is that you have to upload the video within two days of the other person's video. Three, you have to include a dance move of any sort in your video, like this. Four, you have to include a number that goes in sequential order of the videos. In your most recent response, Tom, this was not the case. You said this. Canada, and uh, the journey was always too long for a family of five, for instance. You did say a number, however, it was not your number. So for this reason, I am obligated, even though I don't want to, to give you a challenge. Thomas Reve, I challenge you to recite the entire alphabet backwards within 30 seconds with no editing in one take. Good luck. In your response, you asked me what my what my views were on technology. So I decided to take it a little bit differently. When I was four or five, my biggest concern was getting a new box of crayons to finish coloring in my coloring book. When I was six or seven, my biggest concern was not to miss my favorite TV show when I got home from school. When I turned eight, my parents got their first computer and I actually got a computer game. It was called Pokemon Greeting Card Maker. It was one of my favorite games ever for my childhood. Between the ages of 9 and 11, I played outside until the streetlights came on. And then when I came inside, I ate dinner, and then I played PlayStation until bedtime. When I was 12 and 13, we got high-speed internet, so I decided to play some online games instead of playing outside. When I was 14 or 15, I decided to buy my own laptop, because I was in high school, and why not? Do you think I ever went outside after that? By choice? When I was 16, I got my first cell phone. All I wanted to do was text my friends after that and go on social media. Do you really think that I wanted to go and actually meet up with them? No, heaven forbid. Since then, I've bought many computers, many laptops, many cell phones. I've bought so many of these things because they're simply outdated. My projection for the future is that technology will keep going and going and going, impeding on our ability to be social, and eventually we'll be able to fuse our biology with technology in the form of microchips in the back of your head. Don't get me wrong, the internet is great. We can use it for medical applications, we can use it for the military, we can use it for long distance communication, we can use it to assist with learning difficulties. But the way we use it nowadays, for social media for the most part, is that really helping our social ability to connect with people? Is it helping me do this right now? Technically, yes. However, I think it's impeding on our ability to be social. I mean, don't you miss the times before Facebook? Before you had to tweet in 140 characters or less what you were having for today's meal. Oh, lasagna for dinner, yes! I don't care what you're having for dinner. Maybe I'm just an old man or something. But I'm scared for the future when we won't be actually able to talk to each other unless it's through a screen. What do you think? 